Hello everybody, this is Farganon. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on mains. Um, I had a whole bunch of people ask me how I do it, so I'm just going to show you. I've already drawn out some horse heads. We're going to do straight, fluffy, curly, and the mohawk style of mane. So, let's start with the straight. So, I'm going to make a new layer here. Um, okay, it's pretty simple. You just, it's hair, so it's gonna fall. Hair, you can either have it really heavy or really light. For the four locks, I like to make it semi heavy, so it's like kind of moldable. You can shape it. And then I just add the individual strands like this. And this is going on the other side of his face, or her face, whatever. Add some stray hairs. And then I make a kind of a ovally rectangle shape. And lock it in place and then make a smaller one. Like that. And then another one here. That just makes it look more like the hair's laying down on the other side. And then I can add some stray hairs here. It's falling down on his neck. Adding the individual strands. I always like to start in the corners and just work my way down. Attach at the point where they meet, like right here. And that is basically how I do manes. <laughs> but we'll move on because there's different styles of manes, so I'm going to do the mohawk now. The mohawk one's pretty simple as well, it's just like basically a rectangle. I'm going to make a base right here, a rectangle. And the motion of the mohawk is going this way going up, so all the hair is going to be flicking upwards. Like that. And there's going to be some breaks in the main part of the mane. Go down here, add some stray hairs. Because the neck is bending, which is forcing the mohawk to bend as well, so you can add some perspective by going like this. It's really simple actually. <laughs> it's not very hard. Like that. And for mohawks I don't usually add individual strands of hair because it's a square. So I just kind of go like this, make it look like it's kind of curving upwards. Forelock's kind of going crazy, but okay. On to the fluffy. This is a baby, or is supposed to be, it doesn't really look like one. His eyes are all messed up, but I start right here at the middle of the head and just make a kind of a crescent moon shape upwards. And I'm, I'm keeping the strands of hair here until it gets too full and then I move on backwards. And what I like to do instead of keeping the neck just straight, I like to make it look as if the hair is actually growing out of the neck, because that's usually what hair does. Oh, and also I forgot to show you this trick. If you wanted, let's just say that he has a really long mane, so if you're having like a big wavy mane here because he's beautiful but you can do this it makes it look like the mane is really full and like flapping everywhere like hair usually does on a long maned horse this foal's got some rockin' hair <laughs> Kind of make it look like it's flowing. And 
and yeah. He's got some cool hair, he's got a mullet. And for the last one we're gonna do my favorite one, which is curly hair. Curly hair is so much fun, okay. Basically what I do for the whole entire process of making curly hair, I just do this shape first. So I just kind of make a squiggly line, and then I attach the end, just kind of make U shapes. And that's basically all. So just kind of go like this. If you want to make it really detailed, you could add little things between to make it look like separate strands are in there. And at the end, I like to curl it like this. So we're going to move on here. drawing curly hair. So much fun. It does take a long time though, if you're doing a full body picture with lots of mane. Do the same thing as I did on the straight mane. And you can make longer curls like this. You can make short, very springy curls like that. Oh, and for one thing, if you're going to make it, what I like to do is if it's like flying like this, like let's just say there's lots of wind or something, I just kind of attach it, and at the very end, I always do this with every main, it doesn't really matter what style I use, I always do this, but I kind of take the end and I make it a little longer, and I make this end a little longer, and I make this end a little longer, and I make this end a little longer, and the more curls you add, the curlier it looks. See? That looks really stylized, really curly. Just keep adding curls. This is really messy, sorry. But I didn't want this tutorial to be too long. And, yeah, that is basically how I do my manes. Um, you can make up hairstyles, you can add them all together, to make something crazy like this, you know, I added the mohawk here, and the fluffy, and the straight, and the curly, I actually kind of like that, I might actually make this guy a character, because he's cool, but, um, anyways, oh, another really cool trick, why I really like this main style, is because of the individual little hairs, here, I'll just use curly hair, let's give her red, if you're putting you're making hair colors, you're coloring it. Why I love this style so much is because usually when I'm just drawing like in a normal style with no individual little stripes or whatever, I just kind of, ah, I'm gonna make this messy. Blah, blah, blah. When I'm adding like different colors in the main, let's say if I was doing normal, I just kind of go like this and kind of make it so it was blending in. But with this style, I can go like this. I can add it in layers. Just following the curve of the line art. And that makes it look a lot more stylized and unique. That's why I really like this style here. It looks kind of like, even though I do not like the show, My Little Pony it looks kind of like it, but bleh, I hate that show. I'm sorry. I just do. But, um, there's that. And what I like to do on the really curly bits, like here, I like to interchange them, like so. Make it look kind of crazy. Just keep doing that. So anyways, that is how I do my manes. Well, you know what, while we're doing this, why don't I just show you how I shade them too. Okay, we're just going to use this curly hair horse again.
Okay, let's pretend this actually looks nice. Let's just clean it up a little bit here. Let's pretend that this actually looks nice and that I actually took the time to make it look good. So, we're gonna make a new layer, make it a clipping group. Then I'll take some black and lower the opacity. And start my shading here. Uh, this, this one, this big one right here is flopping over this one. So all this is gonna be shaded in. Cause it's, and yeah. And then I'm gonna shade all this individual little strands. Shading this kind of main for like real drawings takes forever, but it's worth it because it looks good. Everybody has their different main style though and they're all really good, really pretty. So just do whatever you want to do. So for the lighting, I make a white squilly thing. Then I take the blur tool and blur it like that and set the layer to luminosity. Lower that. And then I add a highlight. Ta-da! That is how I do my mains. And this is going to be the end of the tutorial now. I'm not going to go anymore. So, <laughs> I hope this helped some of you. hope it inspired you to get make your own main style. You can use mine. I don't really mind. Um, well, it's not mine. It's I didn't make it. Well, maybe I did. I have no idea. But anyways, I'm sure plenty of other people use this. But, um, yeah, I hope it helped and you learned something. And thanks for watching. Bye.